All right, so it's finally time to talk about how to get the girl back to your place. And the same principles generally apply whether you're taking her straight off the street back to your place or if you've done an instant date. Although I typically do recommend the instant date because, again, a lot of times that's going to make the girl more comfortable. There's going to be more buy-in. And as you'll see, closing and getting the girl home is actually a bit of a process. So typically because that takes time, you want to do some of it over the course of an instant date. However, the same principles do apply regardless. But first, let's talk, as always, about the mindset and mentality necessary. And the first thing you need to understand is that girls like sex. A lot of guys go through life thinking that, you know, it's the man's job to convince or persuade or coerce or trick the girl into sex. And the girl's this, like, sweet little innocent angel that would never do it and has no sexual desire or drive. That's not the case. Think about the last time you had sex with a girl. Who had more fun? If you're at all good in bed, it was the girl. The girl's screaming, oh, 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 oh. You're just like, you know. Oh, this feels good, right? Uh, it's a bit of a difference, right? And women can have multiple orgasms. Uh, women, uh, a lot of girls actually have sex with other women, are, are thinking way more um, sexual things, dress more provocatively. Girls have sex on their minds all the time. You need to understand that, okay? So when you're closing, when you are taking a girl home, when you're moving things towards sex, you're not doing something to the girl, you're doing something for the girl. You're helping her out because girls have this interesting paradox in society where they want sex very badly. They're very sexual beings, but they're very much judged for being sexual. They're very much judged as potentially sluts or like that's shameful, that's wrong, how could you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there are deep biological and like evolutionary reasons for that, right? Um, a guy wants a girl that has only been with him because that way he knows it's his kid, et cetera. Um, but the fact of the matter is women are being judged. So they're in this paradox. They want sex, but they don't want to be judged. So if you want to get a girl home, that's the key you need to understand. Understand she wants sex. You need to help her to have sex, but help her to not be judged. If she knows you're that guy she can have a great time with without being judged, she'll go with you. If she feels judged, she will not. Okay, so understand that, but also know because women like sex, it's totally okay to escalate. It's totally okay to make advances on them. And here's another phrase I've said before that I'm going to say again. You should make no apologies for your desires as a man. It's totally normal and natural for men and women to like each other. Okay? Last major mentality to pulling and closing, which is, I call it close early, close often, close late. But really what it is is seed the pull early. Seed the pull as soon as possible. As soon as the girl shows any indications of liking you, as soon as the girl shows any indications of being hooked, you need to start the process of taking her home and realize it's a process. Taking your girl home is not something that you do in one discrete moment. It's not like, oh, I'm talking to the girl, talking to the girl, oh, I've made a decision, let's go home right now. And you just expect her to, with no objection, no thought, just come with you. That doesn't happen much in the real world. People have their real lives. People need to be convinced. They need to be won over. Uh, and as we said before, girls' attraction is not like a light switch. It's not on or off. It's a bit of a dimmer switch. So she needs time to warm to ideas. She needs time to warm to you as a man. Okay, but you, what you want to do is you want to start finding out the information at play early. You need to find out, is she going somewhere in 30 seconds or does she have all day? Um, does she have a boyfriend or not, right? Doesn't mean you can't pull her and close her if she does, but it's certainly going to change the process um, and it certainly might make it more difficult. Um, so there's all this different information you need to get. And if you start suggesting the idea that you might do something early on in sort of a soft way and getting her reactions to it, you're going to find out this information. You're also going to kind of plant the seed in her head of exactly um, what, what might go down later and um, get a good idea and, and kind of get her going along with the process. It's similar to like um, if you were in the, pro uh, in the process of buying a car, you wouldn't have a salesman just list all the features and be like, do you want to buy it? And then it's either yes or no and you leave the lot. Instead, he's talking about various things. He says, um, you know, what, what colors do you like? Let me check and see if we have those in stock. And then when you say, oh, I kind of like green, and he checks and sees that you have a green, they have a green car in stock, now you're a little bit closer to buying than you were beforehand. So you're, you're doing these little soft trial closes. You're bridging the idea. You're kind of getting her used to it throughout. And it's so, so, so important because of the way that women think. And also because any objections that come up early, you have a long time interacting with her to gradually solve them. If they come up right at the moment when you're trying to take her home, you don't have a lot of time to deal with them. Okay, so that's another critical mindset is understand that closing is not a discrete moment. It's a process that happens throughout the interaction and be ready, be prepared for that. Okay, so that's it on the mentalities for going for the close. Now let's get into the techniques. All right, so let's get into the technical aspects of getting a girl to come home with you, be comfortable in your place, so that good things can happen from there. The first thing I want to point out to you is this is a discrete skill. A lot of guys seem to be of the impression that if you just get the girl turned on enough or get her to like you enough, that this part will take care of itself. And in some strange, rare cases, that will be the case. But most of the time, you're going to have to make the move. You're going to have to lead. You're going to have to figure out how to make it happen. 
And so the model I want to have in your head is this. Instead of thinking about getting a girl 10 out of 10 attracted to and things just happen, understand that girls don't need to be 10 out of 10 attracted in order to have sex. Remember, girls like sex too. They just want it to go down in a way that makes them feel like they're not slutty. They want it to just happen. So in practical, like in, in reality, you're going to probably end up getting better results, getting a girl 7 out of 10 attracted to you, and then solving all the problems, getting, helping her get out of her own way, making it a smooth transition, a smooth process, than you will by trying to get her 10 out of 10 attracted, okay? So understand that. Understand that it is a case of problem solving. And in order to problem solve, you need to find out the right information. You need to screen for what her situation is. Um, what's she doing later in the day? Um, who's she there with, it, if anything? Um, is she meeting up with someone? Does she have obligations in the morning? Uh, those types of things, right? If you know that information, you have a pretty good uh, solution to how to get a girl to go home with you, whether it be from day game, from a date, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, you need the information, you need to solve the problems, um, and uh, just help her get out of her way. That's absolutely critical, okay? Understand it's not about game, it's about problem solving. Next, I mentioned earlier that you need to, what I call seed the pull early on. You need to start bringing up the idea of going home with her, bringing her back to your place very, very early on in the interaction because that gives you information and also it gives you a long time to deal with the objections. But how do you seed the pull? Do you start out by just saying things like, oh, we should go home later, right? That's pretty blatant, that's pretty obvious, and that's almost like just trying to pull too early. And I think that's the reason why you guys don't pull early is they, they wanna know that right moment to pull the trigger. They don't wanna like try, you know, do that try hard move or do that move that could burn it before they're absolutely ready. So they're waiting for the perfect moment, waiting for the perfect moment, and the perfect moment never comes. Instead of what you wanna do, you wanna start seeding it early, but you wanna do it, if possible, in the negative. So you could talk, you could say things like, oh, you know what, there's this great thing I'd love to show you sometime, but you know what, let's, let's just enjoy ourselves for now, we can do that later, right? So you're bringing up the idea that you could maybe do something, but you're not needy, you're not even trying. In fact, if anything, you kind of denied it. Or you'd be like, you know what, it's too bad I don't know you a little better because there's this thing I'd love to show you, right? Or this thing I'd love to do with you. And that's gonna get them intrigued. And the focus in their mind, because what's emotionally relevant is going to be on the fact that you said they couldn't do it, or the fact that you said you need to know them better, or the fact that you're a man of standards, that you're not just like going after them just because they're a girl with a vagina, right? The fact that you, you, you have standards and you are willing to be patient, um, that's gonna make them chase it. And so if anything, by the time it comes around to let's go home, they're probably asking you, like, hey, what about those pictures you were gonna show me? What about that thing we were gonna do together? And then they're actually an active participant in going home, okay? So you wanna bring it up very, very early, but bring it up in the negative. Bring it up as something you're not sure about. Bring it up as something that um, you know, can't happen yet, that sort of thing. And again, that's gonna give you all that information, what their objections are, whether it can work, whether it can't work. But again, it gets you there without hearing no, right? Big part of game is you wanna escalate and not hear no, escalate and not hear no, escalate and not hear no. So you wanna escalate at the right pace so that you're hearing yes, 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 instead of no, no, no. All right, so very, very critical that you do that. And if you're saying no to it, they can't say no to it, all right? Um, quick word on this being manipulative. It is ever so slightly manipulative, um, but it's also simulating what a high value man would do. A high value man has a lot of girls in his life. A high value man values his time and he's not willing to just bend over backwards and spend his entire day with any random girl that he meets, right? So you're simulating that and in the long run when we become abundant, you'll actually be living that. Next key concept for getting the girl to go home is what I call baby stepping. And this is the idea that it's a lot easier to get a series of small yeses than one big yes. So if, you're, if your ask is, um, you know, let's go straight from meeting on the street corner to let's go home right now, that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty hard thing for a girl to accept. But if instead it's like, hey, you know what, we're, we're over here, let's go grab a quick coffee. You know what, there's this great place around the corner I'd like to show you. You know what, let's go for a quick walk on the beach. I, I can't stay long, but whatever. Actually, um, you know those, those pictures I was gonna show you, um, you can come in and hang out for a little bit, but then you have to leave, right? So instead of doing one big obvious step, it's five smaller steps, and each of those steps is a very easy yes, all right? And also, remember, con commitment and consistency. Every time she says yes, the next yes becomes easier and easier and easier. So the yes to the coffee makes the yes to the walk on the beach easier, which makes the yes to coming home easier, et cetera, et cetera, in that particular case, okay? Um, so think of it not as from point A to point Z. Think of it as point A to B, B to C, C to D, et cetera, and be willing to take your time with it. Which brings me to the next point, which is be patient. If you appear like you're in a rush, that makes you appear needy, that makes you appear outcome dependent, and that makes you appear like you have an agenda. 
right? If you can't wait to get her home, if you have to get her home in two hours, it makes it seem like it's like if she spends more than two hours, she'll realize I'm a fraud and I'm not that cool. Or if it's more than two hours, then we won't have a good time hanging out together anymore. You should come from the frame that the longer the girl spends with you, the more she's gonna like you. So your whole goal is spend time with her and let her get to know your personality. Be patient, act like you've been there before. Um, a good frame for this is pretend like uh, one of two things, either pretend like she's already your girlfriend, because with your girlfriend, you know you're going home with her at the end of the night, so you just spend the day out enjoying yourself with the assurance that good things are gonna happen. Or pretend that like she's a girl that's had a crush on you for months and has been like pursuing you and asking you out and you know you could have it any time. Because that's when you're going to be your most assured and genuine and you're just gonna enjoy the moment because you already know the outcome. There's no outcome dependence because the outcome is assured. Okay, so take one of those sort of vibes and philosophies and be as patient as you would there. Enjoy the process. Understand that um, the process and the eventual sex, ideally, will be better for the girl if there is foreplay and there is buildup. And actually, it'll probably be better for you as well. And especially if you want to keep the girl around and have a relationship, you're going to have to spend that time getting to know her. You may as well take your time and enjoy it. Um, and understand that if you appear needy, Right? If you're trying to, say you could have slept, could sleep with a girl in like two hours, if you try and shorten that to half an hour and she starts saying no, 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 all of a sudden it's going to take eight hours or ten hours or may never happen. Whereas if you could sleep with a girl in two hours and you take it a little slower and sleep with her in two and a half hours, it's not really that big of a deal. And in fact, the sex at two and a half hours might even be better sex than it would have been after two. All right? So be patient. Act like you've been there before. Act like the guy who's in abundance at all times. Now I'm going to show you some examples of actually taking girls home. And what I want you to think of this as, I don't want you to think of it as a big deal. I want you to think of it as just the next instant date, right? You've instant dated them from point A to point B, B to C, and then from point C to home or from point B to home, whatever. But it's just the next natural step in the progression. If you start thinking of it as a big deal, it's going to be a big deal, which is exactly the opposite of what it should be. Now, obviously you want to avoid things like saying things like my place or things that are red flag words, but in general, it's just the next instant date, so the same principles apply of asking, but asking in a way that makes it not a big deal, not a huge risk for them. So have a look now. I really shouldn't like you. Yeah. Mm. Should we go check out the pool quickly? Just so you can at least see it. It's pretty cool. The MGM pool is like a pretty chill one. Well, they're on the way really. actually. What? How do you know? Because I know the way this place is laid out. I don't want to lose her. No, no, we'll go say hi to her and tell her where we're going. Can we, can I actually take this out yes. of this? Um, oh yeah, you can take it out of here, yeah, of course. They don't care. As long as you keep it on, yeah, they don't care. With the amount they charge for drinks, they don't mind losing glasses. Really? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I go and grab glasses. I'll show you around a bit. I'm trying to think what I want to do then. So I guess the question is Western Unions, are they open later as well or no? Are there some open later? What? Western Unions, do they stay open later or are there some I that are open this later? One is open pretty late. All right. Would you like to go on a quick adventure and come back? And hopefully by the time adventure's over, Daddy has called? What kind of adventure? At this point, walk around would be enough. But if you want to go explore a nearby area and come back, that would be cool too. Obviously, cabs on me because um, I'm because <laughs> financially, I think I can handle it better. Um, as far as that goes. <laughs> Up to you though. I would like to, because I've only been here a couple of days and I was working most of the time, so I would love to explore. I would love good company to explore with. So, you go somewhere and try and pop back in like hour, hour and a half? Well, the thing is that you told me to keep an eye on my phone. She's watching out for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Fair enough. Um, So your major issue is phone charger, yeah? Yeah, and I kind of have to pee. You kind of have to pee, well... Is that a W, like W Hotel, or is that something else? Yeah, that's W Hotel. I bet you can pee in there. 
I bet. Or KFC. Huh? KFC. Well, I mean, it depends on the quality of toilet you want. Do you want a nice, clean, like, posh toilet, or do you, like, care. I don't care? <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. I, uh, I prefer my toilets posh and clean, I'm not gonna lie. That's a preference. <laughs> you dirty girl. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to pop over somewhere and pop back, cool. Or we can stand here and wait either way. But I have a feeling we can also find a phone charger wherever we go. I bet we're oh, yeah, resilient on that. Internet as well and a Western Union. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. I like it's our a little weird today. Yeah, fair enough. Hopefully this isn't like every day for you. You don't spend it's like every day really running the weird errands. But I'm kind of torn then, because part of me is like, you don't have much time and you want to explore. Well, part of me is, but also I enjoy you. Oh yeah, but I mean, you can have my Facebook. I don't think your Facebook is as sarcastic as you are. It doesn't have like the tonality. No. <laughs> yeah. When I have this fixed. Yeah. Uh, it's possible. What does a little while mean? Does it mean like three hours or does it mean like 15 minutes? Well, now it's probably 15 minutes. Okay. I'll chill with you then. If in like 15 minutes it looks like an hour, then I'll bounce no, out and say like, goodbye, miss. It was a pleasure meeting you. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. We'll try your place. Why not? If it's terrible, then I'll just like judge you forever. Okay. We're good, thank you. I should be like, yeah, this girl. So we to a crap place. You know, she, uh, I don't know. Actually, the things I could say that are negative, I actually think are positive mostly. I was gonna do all these like things about like life irresponsibility and being kind of like all over the place, but. Fuck it, you know what? It's more fun that way, right? Uh, you want to tell more? We are going to Covent Garden. Covent Garden? Yes. Yeah. to watch my girlish figure. I don't know. Go ahead. I'm probably gonna like walk halfway. If you are totally hating life halfway, then you can totally turn around and leave. Here's the deal, I officially grant you freedom to leave at any moment you like. Okay. And I won't even consider it rude. Okay, this isn't a date though. That's fine. Okay. That's good. I, I actually don't like dating, so it's good. I prefer rendezvous with, you know. Rendezvous with That's why I was wondering. That's why I'll walk this way. I, I'm not 100 percent which which way is uptown. <laughs> Hang on. You're asking me. I'm gonna ask these people. Excuse me, which way which way is uptown? That way. That way? Okay. So we're gonna go this way and that way. This and that. What? You're all good. So <laughs> you're interning in Okay. But honestly, I'm sorry if you like it in fashion. Oh, I so I, am. I, I, I can tell. <laughs> no, I mean, I like to dress like... That's not even nice. I mean, I, I, I said that to somebody nice. else who wants to try to be mean. But, like, I mean, I'm not a super... I just, I don't care about that stuff. It's like, okay, if Mark Jacobson's on my bag, cool. If he's not, I'm not going to spend a $1,000 to do it. That's your stop? Okay. So. You may go. Will they let me use the restroom in your, like, bottom floor? I don't think we have one. Sure? No, I'm not sure, but I don't know. Okay. So I would like to before I walk. If I have to, I'll go find like a public okay, place. Okay, well, I mean... Come on for a second. I'll ask. Yeah.
So as you would expect, those look a lot like how you would do instant dates, but the difference is because it is a little bit of a bigger deal to the girl, there is a little bit more involved. There's a little more seating, there's a little more patience, and there's a little more of like being willing to push through the objections, take your time with it a little bit more because that's the, you know, that's the final one where if you get it, you're in really, really good shape. So remember to be patient. Remember to go for it. Remember to make it low risk. Do all those normal standard things, but remember to be patient, okay? Um, taking five more minutes of just letting her be calm and normal and, and build up to it will oftentimes save you 45 minutes or an hour that would have occurred had you pushed too fast and heard no. So be willing to be patient, especially on this, this final venue change home. That's very, very critical. Here are some exercises to help you with taking a girl home. And before I get into the exercises, let me preface where these come from. Essentially, there are two mistakes guys make with trying to take girls home. One is they never pull the trigger. They just talk and talk and talk and never make a move, never ask the girl to go anywhere with them. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is they do make an attempt, but they make the attempt way too like forced. It's like normal conversation, normal conversation, no mention of going anywhere, and then boom, like an anvil in a cartoon. It just drops and it, it just like doesn't make sense in that context or it's too much too fast. There's no sort of lead into it. So all of these exercises are going to teach you the lead in to taking a girl home so that the actual move of taking her home becomes super, super, super natural. First exercise is you're going to misinterpret everything that you possibly can. Everything she says that you could treat as a compliment, treat as a compliment. Everything she says that you could treat as a sexual advance, treat it as a sexual advance. Everything that she says that you could misinterpret as her trying to take you home, try and misinterpret it as her trying to take you home. So for example, if you're talking to a girl and she's like, oh, I have to go home. You're like, no, 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 you can't take me home. We just met, we gotta take this slow. I mean, I like you, but like, let's take it slow, right? Or um, if she goes like, uh, you're very strange. You'd be like, I appreciate that you like me, but seriously, like, um, let's just get to know each other as friends first, right? You can misinterpret strange as turned on. Whatever she says, misinterpret obnoxiously as she likes you is good. It's a sexual advance is even better. She wants to take you home is even better. And actually be obnoxious with this. Allow yourself to go a little bit over the top because most guys have interaction after interaction after interaction that's ready to go home with them and they never make a move. Um, I would rather you err on the side of being a little obnoxious and finding out, getting resistance and pulling back than not trying. Um, and this drill, by the way, it'll work okay off the open, but it'll work really well if you set like a time frame of like, starting 10 minutes into the set, I'm gonna start misinterpreting everything. Or starting once she starts to qualify herself to me, et cetera, et cetera. Once things are already going a little bit well, if you start doing this, then it will really, really work and really be effective. Uh, and you'll start to occasionally like get girls going home with you that you didn't even think anything was gonna happen. It'll, it'll really shock you at first, all right? So really work on your misinterpretation. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is move the girl around as much as possible. Just start moving her pointlessly. If you're standing on a street corner, take her over to the park bench or take her in for a coffee. Or if you've taken her for coffee, then take her for um, a quick walk. Or if, you've, if you're on the beach, take her to the park, park to the beach. Just move her around as much as possible. Don't even worry about getting home yet. Just worry about moving and moving and moving, establishing the precedent that she's going places with you that you're leading, okay? So just try and move the girl around. Just make it a habit that your sets are in motion. And this will do two things. One, it gets you closer to pulling. Two, it makes the pickup feel a lot less like a pickup, which is a much better vibe to have overall. Last exercise I want you to do is what I call seed the pull from the first minute. So I want you from as soon as you get any indication she likes you at all, again, she's asking you questions, qualifying herself, giggling, anything like that, I want you to start seeding the pull. So I want you to start dropping hints about things you could do later, hints about cool things you have back at your house. Don't say your house, but hints about cool things that you could do or I want you to drop hints about the idea that she'd be a fun person to hang out with and go on an adventure with. Whatever way you phrase it, I want you to start dropping that into the conversation in subtle ways very early on. Um, and a quick tip on this, it's good to say it in the negative. So you'll be like, oh, this would be fun, but you know what, we can't do that yet, I just met you. Or it's too bad that we can't do X, Y, Z. That sort of stuff. So you can hint at it in the negative so it's not putting too much out there, it's not an overt offer she can say no to, but you're starting to sh like put out the idea that you could do something with her, you could go somewhere with her, she could come home with you. You're putting that into the set as early as humanly possible. So that's the exercise. And again, all of these are a little bit forced and convoluted because you're overdoing the steps. 
However, all the steps that these exercises will teach you are the exact steps you're gonna to need to learn in order to pull the girl home to your place effectively over and over again.